In this video, we are going to take a look on how to compare and order fractions. There are two parts, comparing fractions with like denominators and comparing fractions with unlike denominators. In the first part, let's compare fractions with like denominators, which means when the denominators are the same number. Naura and Alicia are coloring. The A4 papers that they are coloring are divided into four equal parts. Naura managed to color one out of the four parts, and Alicia colored three out of the four parts. Who colored more? Obviously, Alicia colored more and Naura colored less. Hence, the fraction 1 over 4 is smaller than 3 over 4. Remember, the alligator mouth opens up to the bigger fraction, so we use this alligator mouth. Let's look at a sample question. Circle the greater fraction. In the first figure, 1 over 8 means only 1 out of the 8 equal parts is shaded. In the second figure, 5 out of 8 equal parts are shaded. Which figure is shaded more? 5 over 8. This means that 5 over 8 is the greater fraction. Let's compare more fractions with the same denominator. First, shade the strips and then arrange the fractions in descending order, beginning with the greatest. We have here 7 tenths, 9 tenths, 2 tenths. They all have the same denominator, 10. That means each strip is divided into 10 equal parts. For the first strip, 7 parts are shaded. 9 over 10 means 9 parts are shaded. Lastly, 2 over 10 means 2 parts are shaded. Now let's arrange these fractions starting with the greatest. You can see from the fraction strips which one has more shaded parts. 9 over 10. Hence, 9 over 10 is the greatest fraction. Now let's look at the fraction strip again and find out which fraction is the next biggest. 7 over 10 comes next after 9 over 10. And the smallest fraction is... 2 over 10. Look closely at the fractions that we have just arranged from greatest to smallest. The one with the bigger numerator is the greatest. The one with the smallest numerator is the smallest fraction. This only applies when the denominator is the same. When fractions have the same denominator, we just line them up in size order using the numerators. We don't even need to use the fraction strips. We're going to put these fractions in order from greatest to smallest. This time, I'm not going to use fraction strips. As you can see, the denominators are all the same. So the numerator tells us the greatest fraction. 7 over 8 is the greatest fraction because it has the greatest numerator. Next one down is 5 over 8. And the smallest one is 3 over 8. Let's check with fraction strips if that answer is correct. As you can see, 7 over 8 has more shaded parts, hence it is the greatest fraction. Next is 5 over 8, and the smallest is 3 over 8. Remember, arranging fractions in order of the numerators only applies for like denominators, that is, when the denominator is the same. In the next part, we are going to compare fractions with different denominators. Fraction strips can be very useful when comparing fractions with different denominators. Look at the figures and circle the greater fraction. You can see straight away that 1 over 3 is the greater fraction. Now let's look at the next example. These circles are of the same size, but the first circle is divided into four equal parts, so the denominator is going to be four. The second circle is divided into six equal parts, so we know the denominator is going to be six. In the first circle, one out of four parts is shaded, so the fraction is one over four. In the second circle, one out of the six equal parts is shaded, so the fraction is 
1 over 6. You can see straight away that 1 over 4 is shaded more. Hence, it is the greater fraction. But what if there is no picture? Which one is greater? 1 over 10 or 1 over 8? How do we do this? Let's use the fraction strips method. Draw two strips of the same length for both 1 over 10 and 1 over 8. Divide the first strip into 10 equal parts. Then, divide the second strip into 8 equal parts. This may be tricky to get right at first, especially when trying to divide the strips equally. Now, let's shade. Only one of the 10 parts is shaded in the first strip, and only one of the 8 equal parts is shaded in the second strip. Although the difference is just by a very tiny bit, if you look closely here, which one is shaded more? 1 over 8. So, which fraction is greater? 1 over 8 or 1 over 10? 1 over 8 is greater than 1 over 10. The alligator mouth opens up to the bigger fraction, so we use this alligator mouth. Now let's arrange more fractions with unlike denominators. Here we have 1 over 2, 1 over 4, and 1 over 8. In the first fraction strip, only one out of the two equal parts is shaded. For 1 over 4, only one out of the four equal parts is shaded. For 1 8, only one out of the eight equal parts is shaded. So which fraction is the smallest? 1 over 8. Which fraction is the greatest? Which one is shaded most? 1 over 2. Now get ready with a piece of paper and a pencil because it's time for some quiz. Are you ready? Look at the figures. Which fraction is smaller? 1 over 6 or 2 over 5? The answer is 1 over 6. Which fraction is greater? 3 over 6 or 4 over 5? As you can see, the fraction strip for 4 over 5 is shaded more, so 4 over 5 is the greater fraction. Arrange the fractions in descending order. Look at the denominators. Are they the same number or not? Which method should you use? Now let's discuss the answer. Descending means you begin with the greatest fraction. Because the denominators are not the same, you'll need to draw fraction strips. Now let's see how to solve this. Draw three fraction strips of the same length for all the fractions. 1 over 5 means it is divided into 5 equal parts and only one part is shaded. 1 over 9 means it is divided into 9 equal parts and only one is shaded. 1 over 4 means the fraction strip is divided into 4 equal parts and only one part is shaded. So from the working, the greatest fraction is 1 over 4. Next one down is 1 over 5. And the smallest fraction is 1 over 9. Arrange these fractions in ascending order. Ascending means we start with the smallest. Since the fractions have the same denominator, we just arrange them up by their numerators. We don't need to use fraction strips. The smallest numerator is 3. Hence, 3 over 8 is the smallest fraction. Next one down is 5 over 8. The biggest numerator is 7, so 7 over 8 is the greatest fraction. Which one is the smallest fraction? 3 over 10, 1 over 10, or 9 over 10? The answer is 1 over 10. Remember, since the denominators are all the same, the numerators tell the fractions in order. So, the smallest numerator bears the smallest fraction. 
We have learned how to compare and order fractions with like denominators, which means the denominators are all the same number, unlike denominators, which means the denominators are different numbers. In ascending order, the fraction is going up from the smallest to the biggest, and also in descending order, the fraction is going down, beginning with the greatest to the smallest. We have also learned two methods by drawing fraction strips to arrange fractions with unlike denominators and by ordering numerators to arrange fractions with like denominators.